And folks, here she is with much fanfare, the number one ranked strawweight contender. And there's no debate as to who is the number one contender in this division. She has earned this title shot, richly deserving. Now, of course, we see what she can do with it. Yes, she's earned it. I mean, she's taken the long route. Nothing's been given to her. And she said that she would not change anything. She wanted to make sure that she was prepared to not only get here, but become the champion of the world. She believes that her skills are ready. She believes that her mind's ready, body's ready. She's ready to go. It feels that by the end of the night, she will be the world champion. Perhaps the biggest issue is just that the champion she is facing is otherworldly, has been on a serious run, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. So try to dethrone her here tonight. Well, it is ubiquitously regarded as the deepest division in women's MMA. We're talking about straw weight, 115 pounds, and this is the incumbent, the woman who has reigned over this division for some time. Everybody's chasing her, but she wouldn't have it any other way. She wants to be the hunter, because in that is fear, and in that fear, it leads her to prepare better. It makes her get better every single day she steps into the training room. She told us, even though we were pressed in the last fight, it's going to be much better tonight as she holds on to her championship belt. You're exactly right. She was a little bit critical of that last outing, despite the public's appreciation of it. She believes she can take her game to a next level here tonight and get a finish against the number one contender. for this strawweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Angela Overkill Hill. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. I heard being third man in the octagon fight. for this one. Well, perhaps this will be the night that Joanne Wood secures her first UFC title fight. She actually was in line to fight Valentina Shevchenko back at UFC 250 in 2020. Valentina had to pull out. And it's been a rocky road since for Joanne Wood, but she has refocused, took the second half of 2022 off, and she is ready to make a major statement in a big spot tonight. Hill's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. She got that single collar tie. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave it, though. Those are big strikes. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Beautiful kick to the bottom. Another huge kick is true. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. 
So some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Able to check the high kick. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the butt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Wood going for the head kick. No dice. Hill's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands there. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down, her opponent does not get through to any of her head strikes. 48 total strikes that have landed for Joanne Calderwood. Oh, nice jab. Her defense holding up, she blocked that much. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Oh, wow. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so the fight will continue, and as they attend to the fighter, we will get you some replays of all the damage she sustained in that previous round. Well, her opponent looked like the best fighter in the world. That is partly due to her not being good on the defensive side. It seems as though she came in here with an idea that she would be able to tough it out. Now she's dealing with this horrible cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice strike landed there by Hill. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. Oh, how good is this MMA fight thus far? to the feet now. Look for her to throw that overhand here again. She's hurt real bad. She's hurt. She's hurt bad. Still playing. a huge result for her. She gets the TKO here tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is going to continue deep into the night. What is what she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's going to be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Joanne Jojo. Well, this is the type of title defense that could send a rippling effect down through this division. She came in as the undisputed UFC Women's Strawweight Champion, and she did nothing to dispel the notion that she isn't the unquestioned best 
at 115 pounds. She and her team prioritized the finish, and you could really tell with her approach in the fight, and maybe that's why they are grinning ear to ear here tonight. The strawweight champion will celebrate this latest defense of her 115-pound title.